What's up, everybody? I'm Duncan, and welcome to a very different VGC video. Today, we're playing Pokemon VGC, but every time I lose a Mon, I get electrocuted. That's right. We have an electrocuting dog collar here. They're very cruel. You should never, ever use them on a dog, but we found a purpose for one. We bought it online. We've got it, and it's for me. It works on any dog over 15 pounds. I weigh a lot more than 15 pounds, so a quick disclaimer here. There is no risk to me at all. This is completely safe. It just hurts a lot. We've tested it. It's very sore, um, so never use it on an animal. But if you want to use it on me, I'm going to do it for this video. I did get this idea from a Minecraft video that Beryl was watching with Dream and George Not Found, where they got electrocuted every time they lost hearts in Minecraft. I'm doing it every time I lose a Pokemon in VGC. We're using a Jamie Boyd VGC team because I want the best chance possible to get shocked the least amount possible. And we are in Ultra Ball tier right now. If we get 3,000 likes, I will do a Master Tier version of this. So if you want to see this in Master Ball tier, then uh, go ahead, like the video, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're going to jump straight into this. I am very nervous. I know exactly how much this thing hurts. We did test it last night. Um, we have it set to about 60% because 100% hurts so much. But we might ramp it up if uh, I start losing more and more mons. So it's at Beryl's discretion because we couldn't get an automated system working. But that's fine. I have a wife with a button and a trigger finger ready to knock me out if uh, if a mon gets lost. So she's paying close attention. Uh, we're up against Trickrum. Okay, so against Trickrum, we have an easy lead with this team. And we always lead Dragapult Mimikyu. The only problem is if they lead Ndidi Hatteren and they are G-Max Hatteren, they will G-Max Hatteren, G-Max Smite, and I will be double confused. And double confused is not a fun time. I want you to know that double confused is a very easy way for me to lose the game. So we are going to lead Mimikyu Dragapult, though, predicting them to go for Trick Room as opposed to that. And then in the back, I really, really, really want to run Bishop, um, but I absolutely have to run Rotom. And then... Dom versus Bishop is really hard. I think I'm... Ooh, Dom's good for Venusaur. If he puts the sun up, it hits everything like a truck. Bishop is good for Dusclops. It's good for Hat. It's good for Indeedy. I'm gonna go Bishop. Uh, am I? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh no, this is like the team's worst matchup. Um, I'm gonna go Dracovish. I'm gonna go Dracovish. I, I don't know why I didn't even think to go Dracovish. Dracovish is amazing here. Even, even if Venusaur's around, Dracovish still hits like a truck. Kills Torko, kills um, Rhyperia, kills a bunch of his team. So I'm gonna go Dracovish here. And I genuinely think I could get shot four times. This is a really tough matchup. If he confuses me and I hit myself, I can lose the game on that. So really, really tough time here. He's going to lead Hatteren and Didi. No, Dusclops indeedy. This is a much easier lead to deal with. This is a much easier lead to deal with because I don't have any risk of losing a Mon. So I am just going to max Airstream and then I'm going to Trick Room myself because I think the Dusclops is going for Trick Room here. Uh, if I Trick Room and activate it for him and he switches out into Hat, I lose the game. That's the only risk here. Do I want to risk that? The other option I have is I go for... Max Airstream and Taunt, and then next turn I can Trick Room if he Trick Roomed and protect Dragapult. That's a really difficult decision. Um, I'm going to Max Airstream into this, and I'm going to Trick Room, predicting him to Trick Room. And I'm going to put my controller down because I know that I will yeet it across the room if I lose a Mon. So I'm going to be very, very careful here. I think... He's taking a long time over his turn. I really hope he trick roomed. I really, really hope he trick roomed, and then I just get a free max airstream. If he follow me trick roomed, this is amazing. Because I just get a free max airstream. Hmm. I don't think he then trick rooms again. Because he's just completely shut down. Are we going to see follow me? We are going to see follow me. I think that means he trick roomed. We didn't see a switch. If he was going to predict me to trick room, he'd have switched in Torkoal. Or something else. So we're going to max airstream here. Oh, wow, that is very vibratory. Max airstream doing 30%, which is still good. It's still good. That's a good amount of damage. Um, We're going to go... Oh, he went for Nightshade. No! 
No, he predicted me to trick room. Oh, gob. Um, okay, Duskwops can't kill this. I can just trick room again. It's fine. I, oh, I should have taunted. Oh, no. At least he didn't switch. At least he didn't hard predict it. He sort of soft predicted it. I'm going to max Wormwind into this Indeedee slot, and I am going to trick room again. What if he trick rooms again? What if he switches and trick rooms again? That would be an amazing play, though. I'd kind of respect it. I would kind of respect it if he trick roomed again. I don't think he's got taunt. I don't think he has taunt. If he has taunt, I'm in a lot of trouble. Like, mucho, mucho trouble. Oh my god, we recorded an episode where I barely got shocked at all. Like, I got shot one time total, and so we were doing it again. And I did three games, I 4 0 3 0 4 0 but now I'm scared. Now I am scared. So we follow Mead. Nightshaded. Okay, that's not going to kill Mimikyu. I'm going to be able to trick room. I'm going to be able to fix the trick room here. And Max Wormwind into this um, Ndidi. That is range of a Max Tailwind, uh, Max Airstream. So I can Max Airstream the Ndidi, taunt the Dusclops here, and prevent another trick room. So we're good. We're good. We're okay. We, we recovered okay. He made a really good prediction and then didn't capitalize on it. And I think... That's what separates the great players and the good players. You know what I mean? Um, he did not capitalize on that prediction. It was a really, really solid prediction. And he didn't capitalize. And now I can taunt his Dusclops and completely shut it down. Like, I'm not worried about this Dusclops at all now. And we should be able to easily 4-0 this and climb in the Ultra Boat Hill without getting shocked. I don't want to get shocked. <laughs> I really don't. So this Max Airstream here is going to knock out the Indeedee, which is awesome. Jamie Boyd making amazing teams. Thank you very much. And then we're going to be able to taunt this Dusk Lot and basically lock it into Nightshade, which I'm very, very fine with and very okay with Nightshade only. Now, obviously, we do lose our Dynamax here, but that is also okay. Uh, shrinking is also okay. Because we can Dragon Darts and he can't use Trick Room, which is awesome. And he's going to go into his... I just realized there's, like, Pokemon on the stands in the background. I never realized that before. Into his hat. Okay, so Hatteren might try and trick from here. Um, I can max Phantasm the Hatteren, but I can't kill it this turn. Not max Phantasm. I can, um, Phantom Force the Hatteren. But I can't get it this turn, which is really awkward. Um, I could trick room myself, predicting him to trick room. But I almost worry that he would just Dazzle and Gleam here. So I'm going to just play rough the hat to do damage. I don't think he's going to leave Dusclops in. He can't ally switch. He can't do anything except Nightshade. So I, I think we're okay to just go for... This is the problem with Phantom Force. Like, I can't kill this hat before it gets Trick Room up. There is no way for me to do it. And so we're going to have to deal with Trick Room again if he goes for it. But the question is, is he going to predict me to Trick Room predicting him to Trick Room? That's the big, that's the big question. He is going to max hat. Okay, this is really good. This is really, really good. Because we went for Phantom Force and play rough into Hat. If he didn't G-Max smite my Mimikyu, he's not killing anything this turn because Phantom Force will keep me safe. If he G-Max smite my Mimikyu, I'm going to lose my Mimikyu. And normally that wouldn't be a problem. But actually, that is a problem here. Because I'm going to get shocked. <laughs> please G-Max smite into the Dragapult slot. Please, please. Okay, that play rough did enough that it's going to put him in. No, he did it to the Mimikyu! No! Now I have to deal with confusion and... Oh god, it died! Oh no! I don't want to get shocked. I don't want to get shocked. I don't want to get shocked. And it fainted. Ah! Fuck! Yeah! Oh! Oh! God, it's the faint animation that it triggered! Ah! Oh! Oh, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I am definitely, like, hairs standing up on end. That is so unpleasant. My balls just retreated into my body. Oh, God. It has to be Dracovish to Ficious Ren this hat is Ren. I, I just, it has to be. What if he just protects it this turn? I, I mean, I might hit myself in confusion. I, I'm just going to click Ficious Ren on Hatteran. I, I can't not click Ficious Ren on Hatteran. I need this thing gone. If he G-Max guards, then... Uh, could I lose this game if he max guards? Because max guard does stop Phantom Force. Normal protect doesn't, but max guard does, which is ridiculous. It shouldn't, but it does. But he might be fearing that I targeted his Dusclops. Oh, God. Oh, God, that was so unpleasant. 
I don't want to lose another Mon. What if he just G-Max smites my, my poor fish? I could lose this game and get shocked four times. I'm very upset. He did Max God. Oh, God. Okay, I got through confusion. That's good. At least I didn't hit myself. Fish is rend, obviously plinks. What did Dusclops go for? Nightshade into into Oh, into Dragapult? That's absolutely fine. That's gonna activate my weakness policy. Wait, it doesn't? It doesn't count as super effective? It's still a ghost move. What? That's nonsense. Um He's probably gonna trick room this turn and go for the double protect. But I'm going to go for the Ficious Rend. And what if he ally switches? That would suck. If he ally switches, Max Smites? Oh, God. I haven't seen all four moves. I clicked my moves way too fast. What am I doing? Oh, no. The shock threw me off. That first shock, th I was playing so well up until that point. Oh, God. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like the fact that Dragapult's confused, so it might just punch itself in the face. And knowing my luck, it's going to just punch itself in the face. He did ally switch. Oh, no. He's going to ally switch G-Max, smite my Drake Vision, kill it. Snapped out confusion. That doesn't matter because he's going to confuse me again. <sighs> Vicious Rend is going to hit. It's going to do good damage, but it's not enough. G-Max smite is going to come out onto... No, I'm losing another Mon. I don't want to play this anymore. I don't want... What if he ally switches? Why did it happen? this time it's not predictable i wasn't ready oh damn that hurts a lot that hurts a lot oh and he's gonna dazzling gleam this turn oh god oh i should have predicted that I should have predicted that ally switch. That was obvious. I would normally have predicted that. Specs Rotom's not gonna be able to win this for me. If he's got Rhyperior in the back, I just lose now. And he probably does have Rhyperior in the back. I doubt it's Torkoal. If it's Torkoal, I win. Oh. At least there's no way of him getting Trick Room up because the Dragapult should kill the Dusclops here. But Dazzling Gleam will kill my Dragapult. So I need this Specs Thunderbolt to kill this hat and I don't think it does. Oh, I hit myself in confusion. No, that's game. That's game. This isn't going to kill. No, that's game. I actually lost. I lost to confusion hacks. I hate confusion. I hate it. I hate it so much. Because he just razzle dazzles now. Um, I have to predict. I hate confusion so much. I'm going to have to predict the ally switch. I'm going to predict the ally switch here. He didn't ally switch. No. That's game. That's the whole game. Oh, I'm losing two mons. <laughs> the first shock threw me off so badly. I played so badly after that. I played so badly after that, and I'm going to lose another Mon next turn. It doesn't even matter what I do here. I should have predicted that ally switch. He goes Torkoal or Rhyperia here. Either way, I lose. If I forfeit, I don't lose my last Mon. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to forfeit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my licks like a man. Okay. How did the first one go so well? And I'm like, you know what? I was 4-0ing everybody. I'll just re-record. Oh, okay. This is what happens. Fine. <sighs> All right, look. It was a hiccup. On the road. Okay, is she going to shock me when it gets to zero HP? Or is she going to shock me when it fails? <laughs> God, you fucking died. <laughs> this is so unpleasant. <laughs> Why did I do this? Oh, and I've said I'll do it in Master Ball for 3,000 likes. I should have upped that to 5,000. Can I up that to 5,000? Is that allowed? Continue battling. Okay. Look, that was one bad game. We had three wins before that one loss. And the three wins were a 4-0, a 3-0, and then a 4-0. So we, as long as I can get back to that energy, to that 4-0 energy, I'll be fine. Hadaren is, like, G-Max Hadaren is a massive weakness for this team. It really is. Like, a huge weakness. 
Okay, this is Lapras Raichu lead, which I think we kill with... I, I, if I remember correctly, this beats it. Oh, no, 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 no. Because Raichu would fake out the Domanitan. So we need to go Dragapult Mimikyu to stop any fake outs. And then Dom in the back, I think, against this team. Um, well, definitely... We definitely bring Rotom, right? Because it beats... Poor Lucha. Uh, no, not really. Oh, God, this is such a bad matchup. Why? Why am I now getting the bad matchups? Why? <laughs> Just give me easy matchups like I had all day. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? I don't deserve this. He's got two fake out users and he's got an Intimidator. So I really want to go Bishop. But Hulucha is now a huge problem. Although, does he bring Hulucha against double ghost lead? I really like that Manitan here. Oh my god, this is such a bad matchup, and the previous game was such a bad matchup, and I don't understand why. Why is this happening? Jamie Boyd, your team is letting me down for the first time ever when I have an electric shock thing tied to me. Should have just kept the first video. It's probably going to be an unlisted video down below, by the way, the first round, where I only got shocked one time the whole video. We just didn't think it would make for a very entertaining video, so that's linked down below. Maybe. Possibly. So we did lead, lead Raichu Lapras, exactly as expected. We do live the max um, ice move if we max our Dragapult. And we can max Phantasm the Lapras to lower its defense. And I think we could just play rough the Raichu, maybe? Oh, no. I'm just going to play rough the Lapras. I'm going to lower the Lapras's defense. I'm going to play rough it to get damage. And the next time, I'm going to kill it with the plus two Dragapult that he's going to give me. Because, honestly, I'm not about this life. And I don't think I would max... I don't think Max Phantasm, if I Shadow Snuck myself for weakness policy, I don't think Max Phantasm Okos. I really don't. Like, the Alcremi Lapras lead is so easy to beat with this, because I just lead Dragapult and um, Darmanitan, and I Max Phantasm, and then Superpower, and it kills the Lapras instantly. Which is really good. So he is going to Dynamax Lapras. So he's going Unga Bunga Screens, which is fine. Unga Bunga Screens is a, is a good play. Like, I respect it. But I'm very nervous here. This is not a great matchup. I'm definitely losing at least one on this game. Um, Raichu has Brick Break, Vault Switch, Fake Out, and then another move. Often, it's often Assault Vest as well. So Max Phantasm did zero, but it is going to lower its defense, which is nice. And then we've lowered lot Raichu's defense as well. Raichu's going to go Nuzzle. That's the other move it gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about Nuzzle. That's a bad thing to forget. Don't get fully paralyzed, Mimikyu. What if he targets Mimikyu here? I'm really upset if he targets Mimikyu with the Max Ice. But I don't think he does. I think he targets Dragapult. Mimikyu still faster. Interesting. G-Max Resonance into Dragapult. Yep. And now we get to do plus two. We get to do the plus two Max Phantasm, which should plus... As long as we don't get fully paralyzed, this Max Phantasm plus the play rough should kill Lapras. Should kill Lapras. The calcs work out that way because it's on 40%. What if he max guards? Do I think he max guards? What if he max guards nuzzles? I'm going to max Phantasm the Raichu to kill it before it can nuzzle. And play rough the Lapras. I think this is the only way to stop him killing... He didn't max guard! No! I thought he might max guard nuzzle. Oh, God. Oh, no. Did he max ice again? Okay, this should be now in play rough range of Mimikyu. Next turn. Yes, it is. Okay, so at least max lightning into Mimikyu. This won't kill, right? Lapras weak as fuck. Oh, I didn't kill. That's so good. Oh, that's so good. That was a crit. Wow. This Lapras is very bulky. Like, very, very bulky. I think it's physically defensive. Because, like, Max Phantasm did zero. But that's really solid. That's a really solid turn. We're not getting shocked again, which is really nice. We're not losing games again, which is really nice. If I can get through this game without getting shocked again, that would be really... Oh, no. Duraludon. Okay. Um, I'm going to... 
die. I'm going to lose Dragapult this turn. Is there any way to stop that? I think we have to double the Duraludon to stop me from losing a Mon, but that would be a bad play because that leaves Lapras up. And I have Darmanitan in the back, which beats Duraludon. I could max Airstream Lapras and switch in Darmanitan on a steel move. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to max Airstream the Lapras. That should kill. And it gives Darmanitan a speed boost, which then allows it to easily deal with Duraludon as long as he didn't somehow predict this switch. He max got it! No! No, 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 no. I could have maxed Wormwind to play Rock into... Oh, no. Flash Cannon into the Mimikyu slot. Okay, that's fine. That's 100% fine. That's fine. That is a fine turn. I am 100% okay with this turn. Because I can Dragon Dart now. Because Lapras is small, so it doesn't kill me. I think he's got another turn of screens. But I think Dragon Darts plus Flare Blitz, he's got two more turns of screens. That's a problem. I think Dragon Darts should kill. And then Flare Blitz should... It's neutral. Super power, super effective. 120 versus 120 plus stab plus... They do the same damage, but super power lowers my defense stats and my attack. So I'm going to go like this. Flare Blitz. Okay, I'm going to lose him on this turn. I am going to lose him on this turn. If Dragon Darts doesn't kill the Lapras... Does it kill the Lapras? It kills the Lapras. Okay, we have a chance of not losing him on this turn, but we probably lose him on this turn. Duraludon takes a chunk. Does Domanitan kill Duraludon? Is this enough to kill? Otherwise, we lose him on this turn. Yes! We didn't lose him on this turn. I don't get electrocuted. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. Oh, lordy. Oh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I think we might have 4 0 him. Holucha. Holucha. We can click fly on Holucha. Electric Seed, he's going to be faster than us. We are losing him on this turn. He can't kill Dragapult here. How many speed boosts does Dragapult have? None? None. He does have two attack boosts. I'm going to click fly on the Holucha. And I can't afford to switch. Yes, I can. I can switch in Mimikyu and hope he goes for the fighting move into Manitan. What are the odds of him going for a fighting move into Manitan? Zero. He's going to Brave Bird the Domanitan. Is it better to preserve Mimikyu? Yes. I have to lose Domanitan. I'm sorry, me, but you're going to get electrocuted in about 15 seconds. I'm going to put my controller down. This is it. Here we go. We're losing Domanitan this turn. Close combat. He went for the fighting move. No, I could have switched in Mimikyu. No. <laughs> oh, God. I could have switched in Mimikyu and everything would have been fine. Oh, God. Why would he close combat? He loses the game anyway now. But now he's going to get two KOs. Oh, God. His Aurora Veil wears off. Um, I'm going to go Bishop here. I'm going to go Bishop for low sweep to lower his speed. Oh, God. Oh, duh. Or Iron Head. I'm going to go Iron Head. Into Holucha. If he's got Protect, that sucks. No, close combat. Okay, I've got a Sash. I will live this. Fly will knock him out. We only lost one Mon. I could have avoided it entirely by switching in Mimikyu. I did not expect him to close combat in that situation. Why did he fighting move and not flying move? Oh, dear. Fly. Boom. Yes, new animation is beautiful. Boom. Dead Holucha. We're good. We're good. We only lost one Mon. Ha! <laughs> it's starting to hurt. That is... Oh... It bruises you. That's weird. I'm gonna move it a little bit. I think I've got it on a bit tight, and so it's left a little bruisy. That's a fun time. Um, no. No, I don't want to look at his battle team. I beat him. He sucked. Let's go. Let's go. Next game. Next game. We're getting to Master Ball soon. We're a few games off of Master Ball. But, uh, yeah. Well, we normally stream this on Twitch.tv, not with the electric shocks, but Twitch.tv forward slash Duncan Can't Die. If you're not following me there already, I'd really appreciate it if you did. We do a lot of fun stuff on there. Obviously, we can't do this, because Twitch determines even, like, breaking a keyboard with your hands as self-harm. So, uh, this would probably be determined as self-harm, even though it is 100% safe on Twitch. Luckily, YouTube is a little bit more lax with things like that. Searching an opposing trainer has been found. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, stay shiny. Okay, all right. He's a shiny hunter, not a competitive player. Right. What are we afraid of leading here? Um, 
What if he leads Gothatel Dragapult or Gothatel Bishop or Gothatel Mimikyu with Trick Room? I don't think he's going to Trick Room. I don't think Trick Room is his play here. I think he probably leads Goth, though. Although I do have a Dragapult that he has to be afraid of. I'm going to lead Dragapult Mimikyu because I don't want to get faked out. If I have to, I'll just Shadow Sneak my own Dragapult for weakness policy and blow him away. I think Rotom is incredible in this matchup. Like, just great. And I, I, I really like Dom. But that might just be because I really like the Pokemon Dom Anatan. And uh, no, Bishop is better, I think. Because Sucker Punch could tie up a lot of... This is another tough matchup. We've had three really tough matchups this episode. Normally, this team doesn't have tough matchups. You know, normally this team... Look at those little boozies, though. This really digs in when I... Oh, it's because I tense my arm when I get electrocuted. And that makes my arm bigger because of my musclers. And then it digs in. That's what it is. It's the little electrocuty things digging in. So we let Drakezolt... Drakezolt, even with Hustle, can't Oko Dragapult. Right? So Max Phantasm Shadow Sneak into Gothitelle is probably my play. Because that will kill. And it will stop him doing anything nasty with Gothitelle. And then next turn, I can just max airstream. He would Drew Dracozolt. Even better. Even better. We've killed the Gothitelle free. Bishop comes in. He's going to get an attack boost here. That is very unpleasant. Plus two Bishop. Sucker Punch. Doesn't kill this Dragapult, though. That's important. But I think I'm just going to max guard Play Rough next turn. Because I have used Max Phantasm. I have lowered his stats, which is, you know, a thing I did. So we're going to hit him with the Shadow Sneak. And now Max Phantasm definitely kills. Like, 100% of the time. We have lowered Bishop's defense. What are the odds that he sucker punches Mimikyu and then finishes Mimikyu off and predicts my max guard? Bishop's Defiant is very tricky here. If he goes Dracozolt, I have to worry about him doubling Mimikyu. He went to his own Dragapult. Now I definitely have to worry about him doubling Mimikyu. Um, I think I have to max guard and go play rough into his... No. No, 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 I don't. I just take the thing, I max Phantasm into his Dragapult, and I play rough into his Bishop. If he doubles my Dragapult, my Dragapult goes down here, which is really scary. And... I will still hopefully kill his Bishop. If he doubles with Sucker Punch plus, maybe I should have max guarded. I probably should have max guarded. He max Bishop. Wow, that's bad. I didn't even think of that as a possibility. I legitimately didn't even think of that as a possibility. And he Phantom Forced. Oh God, I really did not consider this possibility. I did not consider this possibility. Oh, God. No, it died! Oh, God! I'm... Ah, she keeps changing the timing! I'm gonna lose this game now. I did not... Con that was such a good Dynamax on his part. That was such a good Dynamax on his part. Um, My Bishop has low sweep. My Bishop has low sweep. I can low sweep his bishop and it should kill. It should kill. That's the, the should of it. It's quad effective. It should kill. Just in case it doesn't, I am going to also play rough. No, I'm going to play rough his dragon I have to kill that dragon as well. Panther Force into the Mimikyu. He's going to break my disguise. Now, when he goes for the freaking Max Dark into my Mimikyu, it's going to kill it. And I'm going to lose another Mon. Or he Max Steals my Mimikyu and that will kill it. And I lose another Mon. And it's a speed tie between our Bishops, most likely. I killed his Dragapult, though. Please low sweep. Please win the speed tie with Bishops. And please low sweep kill his Bishop. Please. Please kill his Bishop. Please kill his... Yes. 
Oh, I live another day. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I can't take this. I can't take this. This is the last battle. This is the I'm not doing another one. 3,000 likes, you get another episode in Master Ball tier, but I'm not doing another one. Dracozolt, it loses to this. It loses to these two mons. It really does. Um, if it doesn't lose to these two, I do have Rodem in the back, which just eats any hit from it and then hits it with Dark Pulse, but then I lose another Mon, which I really don't want to do. Uh, Sucker Punch is stronger than Assurance. I could Shadow Sneak Assurance, but I think... Ooh, am I faster than it? Am I going to be faster than it? Shadow Sneak Assurance is guaranteed to kill it. Yeah, I'm going to Shadow Sneak Assurance just because it's a guaranteed kill. And the problem with that is that it's a 50-50 on losing my Mimikyu. So... Not happy about the 50-50 on losing my Mimikyu. Not gonna lie. Please, Earthquake. Oh, that won't kill Mimikyu. That won't kill Mimikyu. And he dodged anyway. Okay. And I'm Sash on Bishop. So, Shadow Sneak Assurance. We kill the Dracozolt. We do not get shocked again. We managed to win two out of three games. The first game was a real nightmare. I got shocked so much. I'm so unhappy. Um, but we made it through this, this nightmare together. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you want to see this again in Master Ball rank, or if you want to see any other challenges, suggest challenges down below, VGC challenges. I've got a few ideas, like a VGC game where I have to do um, uh, gravity boot sit-ups to play the game. So the switch is like mounted to the top of the bar and I have to do a sit-up in order to click my moves and then go back down, stuff like that. So there are some really fun, fun things that I've got in mind. If you've got any other challenges, suggest them down below. This was a nightmare. I am taking this off just in case Beryl decides to shock me at the end of the video as a surprise, because I saw her thumb in the <laughs> remote a little bit. And, uh, I was considering it. Yeah, see, she was considering it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!